Hello everyone, today I will recap the 2021 American psychological thriller film Nightmare Alley from Guillermo del Toro. Please watch till the end and let's begin. In the opening scene, Stanton Stan Carlisle drags a body into the wood of his home and then drops a match to set everything on fire. Next, he takes a bus to a carnival where he stays for a few days. He watches as troop leader Clem Holtley introduces a geek to the audience. He is advertised as is it a man or a beast in front of an amused crowd. As the crowd watches in horror, Clem drops a live chicken onto the ground and the geek bites its head off. The strongest man in the world, Bruno, and the smallest man in the world, Major Mosquito, are impressed by Stan's antics and give him a job as a carny. Having proved himself useful, Clem allows Stan to join them as they move to the next carnival. Stan starts to develop an attachment to one of the carnies, Molly Cahill, who is known for allowing electrical charges to flow through her body. Stan is warned not to hurt her by Bruno since he promised her father that he would look after her and Bruno threatens him with violence if he hurts her. The Beast Geek, at one point, escapes from his cage and Stan and Clem have to start looking for him. Stan throws the Geek down and hits him over the head, but Clem stops him from killing him. Stan lives with fellow Carnizina, who acts as a clairvoyant for clients, along with her husband Pete. There is a brief relationship between Stan and Zena. Later, he assists them with their act, which involves Zena pretending to be a medium between herself and customers. The audience cheers for Zena when Pete misses a cue due to alcoholism. In the meantime, Stan tries to come up with a gimmick for Molly where she'd be strapped to an electric chair so he could join her act. While Stan is spending time with Clem, he shows him his stash of liquor and warns him about the poisonous wood alcohol that he has. Stan hears Clem's story about a man who becomes a geek after being broken and left with nothing to his name. Additionally, he shows Stan a collection of oddities he possesses, such as a fetus with a third eye that died during childbirth. Stan learns a few tricks from Xena and Pete. As Pete demonstrates his techniques to Stan by relating that Stan wants his father's love, Stan ends up learning some things from them as well. Pete says the trick is one of those typical tricks, but since Stan had a very tumultuous relationship with his father, it really hits him. Stan tells Zena and Pete that they shouldn't try to channel the spirits in their act by putting on a spook show. Stan brings Pete some liquor at night upon his request. Stan tries to swipe Pete's little black book of tricks while he is unconscious, but Pete catches him. Bruno and Major tell Zena what happened to Pete in the morning. The people rush to the middle of the field and find Pete dead. He had been poisoned, although it's not clear if Stan gave him the wood alcohol on purpose or by accident. Zena wailed in grief. Stan eventually convinces Molly to leave the carnival behind and run away with him as they grow closer. Bruno catches them kissing and he starts punching Stan, but Molly holds him off and says she loves him and is agreeing to go with him. Stan bids Zena farewell on their last day together. Despite his offer, she declines to take Pete's book. Stan and Molly put on a show in New York two years later. Stan plays the great Stanton. He wears a blindfold and guesses what Molly is holding based on certain signals. During one show, they are approached by psychologist Dr. Lilith Ritter, Kate Blanchett. Her choice is to perform the act with Stan herself, asking him to guess what is in her clutch. The pistol she has in her hand was correctly identified by Stan. The crowd cheers. Later, Stan speaks with Judge Charles Kimball, Peter McNeil, who hired Lilith to see if Stan was genuine, and Stan claims to be channeling Kimball's late son, Julian. The man offers Stan the large sum for a private reading, which Molly says they don't provide, but Stan can't refuse the offer. Stan meets with Kimball and his wife, Mary Steenbergen, at Kimball's house. He learns that Julian died in no man's land, and says he feels his presence, which is enough to convince them that Stan has skills. Later on, Stan and Lilith meet in Lilith's office. Though she knows he is a con man, she is intrigued by his methods and plans to help exploit New York's elite since she has a number of sessions with them recorded. Also, she begins to work with Stan, who does not deny his guilt in Pete's death since he implicitly regarded him as something of a surrogate father figure for Pete Stan is also shown to be with his father in the very last moments of his life, where he caused him to freeze to death before tossing his father's body in the house and burning it. Molly calls Bruno, and he arrives with Major and Zena to visit her. Stan meets with Zena, who advises him not to do the spook show. Lilith suggests Stan meet with Kimball and be introduced to Ezra Grindle, a wealthy man who wants to speak with his late wife Dory, who died after having a miscarriage. A lie detector is plugged into Stan, who meets Grindle and his loyal assistant Anderson. Stan is almost exposed as a liar when he is asked about being a medium until he makes claims related to Dory, which convinces Grindle he is who he says he is. 
As Stan continues to scam Grindel, he begins an affair with Lilith and starts drinking. After learning of the affair, Molly packs her bags to leave Stan, but he catches up to her at the train station and convinces her to stay. Mrs. Kimball at the Kimball house has lost her mind and believes, based on what Stan told her, that she will be reunited with Julian. Her husband is shot in the head before she turns the gun on herself. Stan plans to have Molly and Gringle fake a seance so Gringle can see Dory again, since Molly looks like Dory in a sketch. In the cemetery, Stan meets Grindel, who admits to him that he abused women in his lifetime and feels responsible for what happened to Dory. Molly puts on her outfit and throws fake blood on herself. However, when Grindel comes too close and starts to grab Molly, she backs away. Gringle becomes enraged and strikes Molly before threatening Stan. As a response, Stan punches Grindel to death, breaking his nose clean off the bat. In response, Anderson comes out, but Stan and Molly start driving away, and Stan runs Anderson over twice, killing him. When they get away, Molly leaves Stan for good. Stan returns to Lilith's office, where she reveals she scammed him and took all the money he collected from Grindel. Stan is shot in the ear, and when he attacks her, she calls the police. Stan runs to a train before being caught and escapes. A few years have passed. Now, Stan is homeless, broke, and a full-blown alcoholic. He ends up at another carnival, where he meets the boss. The boss rejects his offer to perform the clairvoyant act. Stan does get a drink and a job being the new geek. Stan says he was born for this, and he laughs through the tears. So, that's all about film Nightmare Alley. I'll catch you in the next video.